So uh, I think right now Mark Kidd is actually talking about a new corn herbicide that we will be launching in 2024 called Storin. Um, and it brings in some of the things that we've had in some of the, our past products, but then adding a new AI in along with it. So Storin contains bicyclopyrone, which is an HPPD inhibitor, Callisto, which is an HPPD inhibitor, Dual 2 Magnum, and then also we're going to be in bringing in pyroxysulfone SC along with it. So that way it's not an atrazine containing product and so you can add atrazine in your area if you're allowed to or if you need to. So it will be a wide application window. So we'll be able to go 28, in 28 days pre-plant all the way up to V8 core. So it's going to be a residual type product that we will be able to use it as a full rate pre or in those tougher situations and overlapping residual. So soybeans, uh, we brought out a new product last year called Tendovo. So Tendovo brings in dual magnum, um, chlorancelam, and then also metribucin. So it helps you out with those large seed of broadleafs and we've also enhanced our rate of dual magnum above what we've had in some of our pre-mixes in the past. And it will be a pre-merch only type of a product. So I'm from Western Kansas and resistance is one of those things that we've just always dealt with and it's continued to evolve and we've had to evolve our management techniques around that. Um, the, the last two to three years, I've gotten a lot more growers that are in retailers, crop consultants, everybody, that they're kind of of the opinion that we have got to control these things before they come out of the ground because with our environment, controlling them once they're out of the ground just becomes extremely, extremely difficult and extremely expensive. So there has been a lot of focus on controlling them before they come out of the ground. And as we're doing that, we're also focusing on making sure that we've got multiple effective sites of action in the tank. So more than one thing that will control that weed by itself. So that way, if we do start to develop a low level tolerance, there's something else in there that will control that weed. And so if they don't go to seed, we don't have to deal with persistent spreading. So supply looks really good. I mean, we've kind of came over that hump a little bit. Now, there might be some local areas where they do not have the product in stock, but for the most part, we've shipped out more product than we ever have before at this point in time.